All right, everyone. Welcome to episode six, Green Hell. I did a little bit of construction in between episodes, so here's my little shack. Currently have some soup ready to go, some clean water. In case you weren't aware, you can actually use your biddens to collect water, dirty water, and you can take those biddens and fill up the coconut bowls next to the fire, and that will purify the water. I made I made one out of coconut and rope here. It's very useful. Just put it over there, fill them up. And we have two bins full of dirty water, which we can clean by the fire when the time is right. Pretty hydrated right now. Currently have some fires burning because I need more ash so I can make some more mud bricks. My structure isn't 100% complete, but pretty happy with it so far. And I have the forge over here, which I need more mud bricks for, so I can smelt some iron. And this is for charcoal. I still need to add some more wood in order to create charcoal, because you need charcoal for the mud forge. I already have some charcoal, so that will come in handy. Now, something I did discover while I was out collecting construction material is that I decided to build my base just over the hill from a hostile village. I had no idea they were there, but when I came back one day, I actually saw them walking straight through my camp, three of them. The uh, Skull Painted Warriors, I believe they were called. Three of them just strolling right through the middle of my camp. So, there's a pretty good chance they're going to come back at some point. I would like to be prepared for that. So I am currently in the process of making armor for myself. Now, I discovered that I don't need blueprints for armor. I can already make armor. You just have to have the right ingredients for the crafting stone. For example, I have an armadillo shell here, and I'm pretty sure all I would need is a banana leaf and some rope to create a piece of armor. I'm going to show you just how close this hostile village is right now. hear the singing. They're right there. Now, in this game, there is no diplomacy. There's no diplomacy. There's no getting to know your neighbors, love your neighbors. No. They are just hostile. There's nothing I can do about that. So... I need to prepare for if they decide to walk right through here again. And they notice me. That would be a bad thing. Alright, I'm going to grab this banana leaf. Banana leaf, armadillo shell, and some rope. One... Two, armadillo armor. Beautiful. Go ahead and make that. Okay, that's awesome. Get some protection happening here. 
equip. There we go. Beautiful. Sorry, little guy. Need some more banana leaves. There we go. Right. Two. Now I have two armadillo armor. armadillos are going to come around, so I might have to craft some bone armor for my legs. Yeah. Put the meat on for now. Make some more soup. Oh, looks like I need to wash up before I eat. Looks like it's time for some rest. I've actually been very fortunate in this game so far. I haven't come across any big cats. At all. And now that I've said that, they're probably hanging out right over that hill. set up this snare trap. It's very handy. I'm going to rearm it. Got some bones so I can make some thirsty. bone armor. And I'm still thirsty. Ooh. These bones are pretty heavy. banana leaves. Ooh, I might need more rope. I might be almost out of rope, actually. Let's see here. I think it's three. I think it's three bones. Okay, I have two ropes, so... There we go. Bone armor. Apparently I don't have room for it. Oh, that's not good. Seems like I should. There we go.
Excellent. Need one more piece of armor. Let's go see if there's any more iron in here. I haven't been able to find a clear answer about how often iron respawns. Gotta deal with these guys again. Another obsidian stone. I like that. Oh, we have some more. Okay. Oh no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. Can I make? Can I make one out of obsidian? Oh, no stick. Okay. Oh boy. That's a shame. Looks like I need stones for my pickaxe. Hmm, I haven't seen stones around here lately. I wonder if I could cook this bulb I found. Let's see. Okay, and it's cooking. Hmm. Some nice clean water. And an unknown bulb cooked. Let's see what happens. 50 carbs, 5 energy. Alright, that's good. We're just about full now. Alright, I need one more piece of armor. I'd like to be fully kitted out with armor. I'm gonna need more bones. That's what that means. Or another armadillo. Oh, I have a Brazil nut bowl. I didn't even know that existed. Huh. Five units. I think this holds ten units. It's not nearly as big. I guess we'll see. Hmm. Okay. It doesn't seem to collect water. What can I craft? Hmm. I just got fiber. What's the fiber for? Oh, there's... Oh, it's just for starting fires? Oh, okay. I think I heard something. I did. I did hear something. Ooh, that's a lot of weight. Well, there's one. Okay, craft, 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 and craft. There we go. body armor now. Alright, I feel much safer. Well, I'm all armored.
armored up. So, I think what I'm going to end up doing is attacking that village. And I know, I know, I don't like the idea of striking first, but I already know for a fact they're hostile. And if I don't attack them, I know they're going to attack me. I'm going to do a little more scouting, a little more looking around. Figure out a course of action. And that's exactly what's coming up in the next episode. I'll see you next time.